hello guys and welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by china warns citizens against traveling to nigeria <laughs> my people it choke even china self don't join china self don't abandon nigeria china will be their last hope <laughs> don't shock them all right before we get into the gist in full details if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button in that way anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you all are supporting us here in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen this news here read the chinese foreign ministry in beijing has warned its citizens and firms working in the african continent against traveling to some risk areas amid the abduction of chinese citizens in africa the disclaimer was issued on monday by the foreign ministry spokesperson Ziyohi, mm -mm. this name I know if you pronounce, I'm not go bite my tongue, my people, na Chinese name, but Wesha, na go see him for the scream, as he confirmed the abduction of five Chinese nationals in the Democratic Republic of Congo, the news agency of Nigeria report he further urged those in dangerous places to leave as soon as possible according to him the abductions took place during an attack on a gold mine in the bukera village of eastern congo citing another recent incident in nigeria where three chinese employees were kidnapped the spokesperson stressed that there were great security risk in nigeria and congo and this incident were not the first of their kind china has significantly increased its investment in the mining industry in africa in recent years this has led to growing local resentment towards wealthy chinese employees working in countries such as the resource-rich congo where living standards are extremely low in 2008, Congo's former president, Joseph Kabila, signed a highly controversial $9 billion agreement guaranteeing China mining rights in the country in return for funding for much-needed infrastructure projects. A few weeks ago, Kabila's successor, Felix, called for a review of the agreement and for what he termed fairer deeds. All right, my people, and that is it for you all. Uh, first of all, let me start by saying that um, the high rate of insecurity in Nigeria is alarming. And uh, this is what we all we are very much aware of. And uh, we shouldn't blame any government around the world that decide to take this decision to protect its citizens because it simply means they value the lives of their citizens and they are ready to do anything uh, to protect them, which is something we don't get to see with the Nigerian government. The Nigerian government will never do anything to protect its citizens outside Nigeria. So even if you're dying, even whatever, even in your own country, in Nigeria, if they don't protect us, in Nigeria, they are the ones, uh, they are the ones killing us. Come to talk of when you are outside the country, so whatever happens to you as a Nigerian citizen outside the outside Nigeria, you're on your own. The Nigerian government will never come to your aid. But this thing is not supposed to be so. But unfortunately, because of the kind of people we have in power, the kind of people we have as leaders, uh, this is not our fate today that you as a Nigerian citizen, that if you travel to any country, you are just on your own. If anything happens to you, uh, you don't have nobody to cry to because no one will come to your aid. So that is it for um, the decision that China has taken to protect its citizen. This again, uh, proof that uh, the high rate of insecurity in Nigeria is turn into something else. But then again, I would like to ask this uh, uh, question. What is really the impact of this Chinese government in the African continent? How are they contributing to our economy that our African leaders cannot do away with? Like, what is it that they've really done for us apart from making us dry? What is the impact 
what is that great impact they are making in Africa that all these African leaders are signing all these bogus, are signing for all these bogus loan that will destroy them in time to come. Africa as a continent is blessed with natural resources and this is why foreigners are running into Africa to extort our resources and leave us with nothing. If not for greed and secondly they don't mean well for us since Africa is a great asset to them um, why not help us to develop the continent? But no they will come, they will take everything, they will give us one and they will take hundred. They will give us hundred, they will take millions. But our African leaders, they are too dumb, or should I say, um, greediness. Yeah, we have a bunch of greedy people in power in Africa as a whole, not just Nigeria, because I've come to understand that this problem is not just Nigeria problem, but African problem. Though we talk about Nigeria here, these days, eh, I begin to like, these days I've really put my ear on the ground to really see what is happening in other African uh, countries. And the stories are pretty much the same. The stories are almost, are almost the same thing. You understand? It is always in some few places that we have something different. But in most of the places, all of them, they have their own problems in a very unique way. Just that Nigeria or now they are coupled with terrorism and so many other things. So this problem is African, African problem, not just Nigerian problem. And the truth of the matter is that we, the African youth, we be the ones to put these people in place. These people, they have fooled us for so long. These people, they've used us. These people, they've played with our emotion. And if we don't stand up with the youth, if we don't stand up to do something about it, nobody will do it for us. Just imagine China telling its citizens to leave Nigeria and Congo. When the goal was good, they didn't tell their citizens to leave. But now that they have helped us to destroy the country, it is now they are telling their citizens to leave. It is well, we are not asking them not to leave, but if they leave, they should please leave permanently. Not when it starts getting better, they will come back again to start from where they stopped. And uh, that is it for you all, my people. China has also designated Nigeria as a country with high risk of insecurity. And um, I'm just going to leave you all to share your thought with me on the comment section. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Your love, your support, and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted. So with all of that being said, I'm just going to leave you to share. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.